In this tutorial you will learn more about FileZilla server's user types and how to use placeholders to define native paths. When you create a user, you can use the special user called system user. The system user can impersonate any user already available on the operating system. In this case you can only use system credentials to log in. System credentials consist of a username and a password of a local user. You can also select the use system credentials also for accessing files and directories checkbox to grant the user the same access privileges that are associated with their host operating system account. To enable anonymous access to your server, create a user and select do not require a password to log in. If you don't want to use the operating system's user accounts but you want users to authenticate, select the option require a password to log in. Then write the password in the next field and communicate that to the user through a secure channel. Placeholders are variables that can be used to define native paths. There are two types available. Colon H gets replaced with the absolute path corresponding to the home directory of the system user logged in. Colon U gets replaced with the name of the user logged in. It might be useful to define groups. In the example, the users belonging to the group would have slash pointing to their respective FTP home directories. In this video you learn more about FileZilla server users and how to configure them. FileZilla server is fast and reliable and it supports FTP and FTPS. Download it from FileZilla website, where you can also buy the manual. Stay tuned for the next tutorial videos.